Yeah. Everyone, so I just want to do a quick video to show you a trick to help you do your like your 15 times tables a lot quicker. Right, just in case you want to work with times 15. So that, to help us, I bring out just the first six times tables for 15. So one, two, three, four, five, and six are in the answers. So the key to see the pattern is to break up how these numbers are gotten. So to get 15 from times one, it's one times 10, and then it's one times five. Here it's two times 10, which is 20, and two times five is 10. And it's three times 10, which is 30, plus three times five, which is 15. So you can see these are increasing by 10, these are increasing by five. So then that would be 40 plus 20, 50 plus 25, 60 plus 30, right? So we can see the pattern is it's going to be the first digit times 10 and then added half that number, right? The first digit times 10 is 20 and half that number. But a quicker way to see that is instead of times it by 10 and then adding half, is to do it straight away. So what I mean is get the two, add half of two, what's half of two? One, it gives you three, but then we times 10 at the end, which means we just chuck a zero. Let's look at, let's look at five. So what's half of five? Well that's 2.5. So that's 7.5, but if you times 7.5 by 10, so let's just chuck through the times by 10 at this point, we get 75. All right. Let's try for a higher number, let's say 12. Straight away is 180. Why? Because what's half of 12? Well that's 6, so if we add half of that number to itself, we get 18, and times by 10 gives us 180. So the pattern, which I can finally write, is add half the number to itself, then times 10, right? So let's try that with 14 times 15. What's that? Well, 210. How do I get that? 14, add half of it, and then times by 10. That's probably the better way to write it, and they'll give you 210, right, because it's 21. Let's try another number, um, 34 times 15. So that's 510. How do I get that? 34, what's half of 34? 17, then times it by 10. So you can see, this is really easy to do in your head because what we're doing, instead of trying to do 34 times 15 manually, right, because that's 10 times 34, or right, 340, 5 times 34, or well, what's that, um, 170, and then adding those big numbers in your head. What we're doing is adding small numbers in our head and then doing a times 10 multiplication. Times 10 is probably the, one of the easiest multiplications you can do. Let's do a really high number, um, 164 times 15. All right, this can still be done in your head, but it'll take a little longer. What's half of 164? Well, that's 82, right? So if we add 82 to 164, that's 246, and then we just chuck a zero on the end, right? So again, it doesn't matter how high it is, we can still pretty much do it ahead. It might take a little longer, but the key is having these little tricks to help us, right? And just one more, let's make it not too fun, um, 55 times 15. All right, odd numbers aren't gonna be fun because when you halve that, half of that is what? 27 and a half. So if we add 27 and a half to 55, we're gonna get 82.5, but then we don't worry about this one because we times it by 10. All right, so I hope um, you found this trick for times 15 simple and I'm trying to apply it. The best way to apply it is now, so what you can try is pick some small numbers, right? Let's go, so I've done one to six here. Just do the rest of seven to 15, right? Knowing your 15 times tables from one to 15 is very useful. So 
I've covered 12, but then do 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, um, 13, and 14, uh, or 15. All right? Uh, the best way to do it is to practice some. Practice this pattern 10 times and you'll, you'll see how it works. Once you get used to small numbers, go higher. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and comment below what you want to see in future videos, what kind of tips, tricks, or tutorials. And definitely make sure to subscribe if you enjoy it so you can stay up to date with all these new tricks and share with your friends so they can learn as well.